Welcome back to Earth from Space. This week, Copernicus Sentinel-2 takes us over part of the Andes Mountains in southern Peru. The Andes are considered the longest continental mountain range in the world. They extend around 7,000 kilometers through seven South American countries, from Venezuela in the north all the way to Chile in the south. The mountain range is the result of the Nazca and Antarctic tectonic plates moving under the South American plate in a geological process called subduction. Wind and water erosion are also a major factor for the shaping of the landscape. In this image, parts of the Ica, Ayacucho and Arequipa regions in Peru are featured. This false color image was processed in a way that makes vegetation appear blue, while irrigated vegetation and agriculture is visible in bright blue. Streams of water flowing from the high altitudes and through the valleys provide water for irrigation to the nearby agricultural fields. The small town of Pukio, with an elevation of over 3,000 meters, can be seen in the top right of the image, surrounded by vegetation. Directly to the left of Pukio lies the Pampa Galeras National Reserve. This reserve protects the habitat of the threatened vicuña, a wild camelid that lives in the high alpine areas of the Andes. The clouds in the bottom left of the image are an example of marine stratocumulus. These low-lying clouds are caused by cooler waters in the Pacific Ocean being pulled up to the surface, cooling the air above it and causing water vapor to condense into water droplets and eventually clouds. Marine stratocumulus clouds often develop off of Peru, with prevailing winds pushing the clouds inland. As the clouds are low, they are easily blocked by coastal mountains and hills, such as the Andes. Under the small cloud in the upper left of the image lies the city of Nazca. Northwest of Nazca, the famous site of the Nazca Lines can be found. The Nazca Lines are a group of geoglyphs, or drawings, etched into the surface of the arid plain. The figures depict various plants, animals and many other shapes and extend over an area of around 500 square kilometers. Copernicus Sentinel-2 is a two-satellite mission. Each satellite carries a high-resolution camera that images Earth's surface in 13 spectral bands. The mission is mostly used to track changes in the way land is being used and to monitor the health of vegetation. <music>